Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. One of the hardest things to do as a trader is recovering from a bad previous day. We gotta stay focused. We gotta get back into our regular routine and get back into our trades right after the intro. As always, nothing that I state on this channel is financial advice. Trading futures or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital put out there is at risk for loss. All right, so I mean, most of you guys probably watched my video from last night, and it was kind of it was uploaded kind of late, um, and shared with everybody the kind of fiasco that I had trading my um, fifteen minute rob reversal. Traded it in the NQ triple the size that I normally would based off of an incorrect ATM that I had loaded into the strategy, which is really the strategy that I trade off of my cash account, whatever. Blew my funded account. Got to get that. Got to get that back. So and I'm going to get that back trading exactly the same way, which is with the 15 minute rob reversal. Um, I remember I had I had one eval account left i think it had like a thousand dollars profit in it but from back in october i really haven't traded much in it for the last 60 days so just going to take that one over and switch the strategy just to the 15 minute nq and uh see if we can get that one back and funded so hey trading is tough and it, it's not you know the losses will come it's what you do with those losses that I think define you as a trader. Um, if you can learn from what your mistakes were and very simply put my mistakes yesterday were I had too many distractions right at my critical time in my routine where I come down, I look at charts, I take a look at the news, I check my strategies, make sure that everything is good. Well, I didn't have that opportunity yesterday and I skipped over some steps and that cost me dearly. So those are a lesson learned and I've got to, I got to manage my distractions a little bit better. So, and that's what I'm going to do to give a recap all in all, actually yesterday we had $140 profit in the morning strategies. So our eval sits at 50,417. So we're at $417 out of 3,000, which is our profit target. So not bad there. Um, I went over these yesterday, but um, gold, nice winner yesterday. I think I took that was a one trade on one trade I took for 140 bucks in in gold. Obviously, we got activated to the short. Nice trade. And CL yesterday, there was only one trade in session one which I did not take in the eval account, um, no trade set up in session two, um, but trade session number one in oil took full take profit. So that was a very, very nice trade um, for those that were in it. And don't really need to go over the uh, 15 minute rob reversal again. That one was a, well, we took a, we took a loss on that one, a 35 point loss, um, went into depth on that trade yesterday. All right. So again, I got to change. You got to change your mentality. You you know, if, if you're coming off of a bad, if off a red day or off of a day where you made some poor trading decisions, uh, maybe you weren't focused in on your trading. It's the next day that's extremely important. And I'm not going to say that I'm going to be red or green today. Um, the market's going to obviously dictate that. And I'm going to hopefully try to find a little tiny edge that I can carve out some profits from. But you, you got to get better at the things that you can 100% control. And those are the things that we, we constantly have to get better. And I'm going to make a very conscious effort of getting that back on track. So stick around. Let's see what trades I take um, this morning. And uh, stick around for my day's recap. See you in a little bit. Order canceled. All right, so here's our first trade of the morning. Um, this trade is in gold, so I have gold always on the right-hand side of my chart. Oil is on the left. 
we get activated here um, off of the inside bar. We get activated here to a short. And I, obviously, you can take a look at, um, again, at the trend. The trend has been going, has been going up. Um, and seems to have kind of hit a, I don't want to call it a top, but it seems like it's kind of hit some, some resistance there at the top. And um, we get a little bit of consolidation and start ranging a little bit. So right off the bat, you know, the trade, some slippage on this, on this trade here as well. Um, you know, I've been noticing a little bit more slippage on, uh, on gold recently, but either way, seems to kind of be flirting with our, with our entry line here a lot. Um, but definitely not the, uh, not the immediate kind of thrust that we're really looking for on this trade. But then we start getting some sellers that are coming in um, and then just gets kind of rejected. So it's really wanting to stay like in this in this range here. Um, and uh, we're just kind of hoping that we can get some sellers like the ones that just stepped in to hopefully take us down to our um, to our take profit. And this trade did end up taking almost 30 minutes so i know this looks really fast on video because i've got this sped up nobody wants to wait 30 minutes to see bars going up and down um but you know it, it involves some patience here um you know they're you can very easily wanting want to get in and out of this trade very quickly um the only thing that's really concerning me at this point now is the 9 a.m news release and look and see what happens with price action. Stop filled. Order submitted. Order canceled. Okay, and here is our, uh, we had no trade in oil in session one. So this is session two of oil. Um, order canceled, order canceled. We get, we obviously get activated here um, to the short again as well. Um, and again, it's, it's, a, it's a huge uptrend. And you've got the overnight open right below it. So again, it's just like, if you if you're just strictly looking at it from the chart, you're seeing the trend. You've got the overnight open below it. You're probably thinking to yourself, "Man, I really hope this doesn't activate to the short." But that's the part that that's the part about this strategy that is um, is maybe difficult for some, but I have really found to love it. Is that I am not looking for huge moves. I am perfectly happy taking 23 ticks or $230 or 270 or 150, 300 out of the market. Those are the moves that I like to see. They're temporary moves. You can see that my take profit based on my rules and my strategy is below the overnight open. Um, and I have let that line on my chart, but I do not use it as a discretionary filter on any of my trades. I do use it as a reference point because I like to see where that is at. Um, and you could very easily say, well, well, Rob, what if it's going to reject off of the overnight open? Well, yeah, I'm sure there could be, there's four EMA, EMAs, there's VWAP, there's support, there's resistance. There is a whole bunch of things that you can technically say this thing might reject or bounce out. That's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for a temporary movement out of an area of consolidation, which is that inside bar. That's why I love them so much. And I am just looking for uh, a movement to hopefully full take profit. And sometimes, obviously, like you saw in the video before, sometimes it hits, it hits our stop loss. So right here is a perfect example. I mean, it hits right to the overnight open, rejects a little bit. I'm not worried. I stay in this trade, full take profit. Loved it. Target filled. All right, there you go. There you saw 
both of the trades that we had today in our morning session, um, that trade in gold was just absolutely brutal. I mean, just brutal. Let's just let's go to the charts. Let me explain to you guys what happened there. Um, at least let me try to explain what happened there. So we get activated in at the inside bar at 835 in the morning. This trade ends up going for about 30 minutes. Um, didn't seem like it in the recap video there, but that was all fast forwarded. So this was a, like a 30 minute trade that we were all in. And granted, we were in the red, we were in the green, and it was just kind of like teetering. And we were getting close to the 9 a.m. news, um, high impact news release, central time. And what happens, we just get this, this huge wick that that knocked us out of the trade. And it's not that it just knocked us out of the trade. It freaking killed us with slippage. And then what happens is just, just a small liquidity run here and then boom, an absolute dump all the way down. Um, so this was a little bit unfortunate. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't claim to be a, I don't claim to be a guru. I don't claim to be a, even a good trader. I consider myself to be, to be a better trader than what I was. And I feel like I am on a very good path forward with trading. Now, with that being said, I like to take my gut, my feelings and my emotions as much as I can out of this trade. But I will say, I will say that there was no part of me that wanted to be in that gold trade at 8.59 in the morning. And I had a chance. I mean, I had many chances. You can see this. This thing was just teetering between profit, loss, profit, loss, profit, loss, pretty much around our entry, um, the, entire, the entire trade. So I had multiple multiple ways to get out of this trade and I didn't and news has helped us in the past it's definitely given us full take profit when we needed it when we needed that that thrust so but none of me wanted to really be in that trade at that point but at the same time I didn't want to hit the close button because one one, I like to see my trades come to a finality one way or the other, okay? Two, I don't want to give people the false impression that if you start doing being discretionary about every part of your trade, it there is very good discretion or discretionary traders. I'm not one of them, and... And I know that it does not help my trading because what happens is you might be right once, you might be right twice, but for me, it seemed like I was wrong four to five to six to seven to eight, nine, ten times. <laughs> I mean, it's just the truth. So I stayed in it. I unfortunately took a loss. I took a huge loss with slippage. So that's the second thing that I wanted to talk about. I trade... I traded that gold trade on my chart below in cash exactly the same way. Same take profit, same stop loss, same entry. I take that back. It was one tick less because on all of my cash accounts today, sorry, on all of my morning trades setups on my cash account, I removed the one tick offset. I left the one tick offset on the evaluation because I said I was going to leave it. And I don't like to just make changes and then not tell anybody. So I'm going to, I'm sticking with that one tick offset, but on my cash accounts, I, and I actually liked it. I actually liked it. But let me explain to you guys something here. This trade, we had a stop loss of. I don't know. I can't remember now what was in the video, but with with the with the slippage, I think it was two hundred dollars. It was maybe it was between one ninety and two ten. I don't know. I, I have to go back in the video. But when this when this trade closed out, 
I was negative $350 in the evaluation account because of the slippage. That's a shit ton of money. And I put this on Discord on the exact same trade, minus a tick, on my cash account, I only lost $234. That's a huge difference. Huge difference. So take that for what it's worth when you're working on evals. Okay. So that was gold in oil. We did not get a trade session one. We did get a trade in session two. We get activated on this inside candle at 9.05. Um, for those of you that are new to the strategy, it's a pretty simple strategy. We're looking for an inside bar to form. We are setting up a short order one tick below the low of the, of the inside bar. And we're setting a long order one tick above the inside bar and we're just waiting for price action to determine which way it wants to go we got activated to the short and i'll take this little tool out so you can understand exactly what i'm doing our entry is right around here our stop loss goes to the top of the source bar to the left of the inside bar which is 22 ticks and we are looking for one to one 22 ticks of profit that's it. And this thing gets full TP. Well, you guys saw it, full TP, no problem whatsoever. Now, the funny thing is, on my cash account with those two trades, I was plus $10 in the green. In the evaluation, on the top step evaluation, those exact two trades, I was down 130 bucks. That's where we ended off the day, right here. 130 bucks. It's part of trading. I'm okay with it. I'm just, you know, I'm it, it is what it is. I just want to let people understand what you know the differences sometimes that you see. And then, you know, I'm I'm at work. I got the bot running on my 15 minute rob reversal. Um, just pretty much a strategy in, in Ninja Trader that one of our awesome members in Discord um, uh, whipped up for us. And let's just pull it up. <laughs> uh, this was the point of um, this is the point of my my pretty sad video from yesterday that I showed how I blew up my funded account by actually making an error on this exact same 15 minute rob reversal strategy. Pretty simple strategy. Um, I had it set to triple the normal size that I normally take. So I take one E-mini and made that mistake yesterday, documented it in the video. It is what it is. So let's just start from the beginning um we've got let's just go to the market open 8 30 in the morning we only we start trading this strategy from 8 30 in the morning very clear rules if you want to learn this um nq trade the link for the video is below in the description it's called a 15 minute rob reversal we get a signal to go long time condition is okay it's at 8 30 in the morning but this closes below the adma no trade. We then get another setup at 945 to go short. Get into that trade. We are looking for one to one 35 point stop loss, 35 point take profit. What do we get? Full take profit. <laughs> Boom! We're back in it. And we are right back in it, man. That's the thing with this trading. It's like you just exactly what I said. You just got to come back the next day and be mentally ready, mentally prepared for the trading day. So I took, and this was a, I, I mentioned in the earlier part, I had a, I had a, an evaluation that I hadn't traded in, I don't know, maybe 45 days, 60 days. And I think there was about 12 or $1,300 profit in there. 
um, just didn't, I just stopped trading it. I was only, I was concentrating strictly on my funded accounts um, and the eval for what I'm doing, my morning strategies. So anyways, so I take $700 profit on, on this first rob reversal trade and beauty of a trade, 35 points, no problem. We then get another setup at 1215 to go long. Well, this closes below the ADMA, so we have no trade. We then get another setup to go short. And we get activated here to the short. We're looking for 35 points, okay? Now, you can see this thing came down. This was probably a decent amount of profit, maybe two, 300 bucks. And I'm not, I'm not in front of the computer at this point. I come back and we were somewhere around here because it was already getting kind of late in the, in the, it was around 220, 230-ish, maybe around there. Um, actually, no, it was, yeah, I think it was around 230, 235. I don't like keeping trades open that late just because algos start kicking in and you just don't know what exactly it can happen. Um, and I ended up closing this trade for maybe two and a half points of profit for, well, 50 bucks. So ended up closing that just for time-based, but this thing actually works. Um, this thing hits it. And I know that cause I hit it in cash. <laughs> um, can't make this shit up, man. I love it. So if we go down here, down to where it hit, that's 40 points. So um, yeah, this thing also hit for another 35 points. And the eval, I gotta be super careful with that because they got time periods that you gotta end your trades by. And again, I just didn't wanna risk. I already had $700 bagged in the day for for this eval. So this thing's over two grand. We'll see how this how this goes. Um, but the nice thing is that it kind of gives you like that nice, good, warm feeling inside from you know a, a sh really shitty ass day yesterday um and i was kind of down on myself throughout the day and, and not not because of the trading but because of how i let myself get out of my routine to get out of my habits and i paid the price for it um but i'm gonna i'm gonna get that second funded account back and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you guys my, I, I, I just, it's a good trade. It's a very good trade. It, it filters out signals really well. Um, so I'm super happy how that's going. And yes, we took $130 loss on the morning eval, um, on the evaluation, top step evaluation that I've been trading on there, but we're still in the green on that one as well. Um, I got good, I got good vibes. I got good feeling about the rest of this week and going into the next week. If you want to follow me along, um, with a, a, to try to get funded, to get an evaluation account, there's a link below to my top step affiliate. Um, just click on the link and see if you guys want to get funded. Um, truly appreciate it. Please leave me a like on the video. Uh, if you do like it, if you don't, that's okay. Uh, give me a comment and please subscribe to the channel. See you guys here tomorrow. Happy trading, everyone.